Well, thank you all for being here. Congressman, thank you for coming to give us a perspective on how everything's going to get fixed on Capitol Hill in the next <laughs> few weeks. So, um, we're, uh, we're 26 days out from a partial government shutdown. Uh, we don't have a defense budget. We don't have uh, lots of the budget stuff done. Can you, can you tell us what the state of play is right now and how much all of us should panic about sure. what's coming next? Well, I, I, I think we know we're not going to get seven appropriations bills, the remaining ones done. Uh, between now and the end of the fiscal year. So in, in light of that, it uh, looks like there's going to be another continuing resolution that'll come up next week, probably the middle of next week. The, the debate has been how long should that CR go? Mm -hmm. uh, listen, I personally believe that it should just go into uh, the remaining portion of the 118th Congress, wherever that may be, since these bills have passed out of committee, at least some of them have passed the floor. It's a little bit easier to navigate that than it is waiting until the 119th Congress and everything has to get spun back up. And then the challenge is not only that, but of a debt ceiling and, and the other aspects that'll be there. New administration, you put all those things together and it's a much more complicated process, I think, if you push it to the 119th versus the 118th. So I think the only thing left for the discussion back and forth is when will this current CR expire? But I don't think there's any question about what we will be facing. And that is, unfortunately, another CR. And of course, obviously, from the military side, you know, CRs are the worst way for us to be able to manage uh, the defense enterprise. Well, and I, and I wanted to ask you about that because, it, you know, it is an election year. I think we all saw this coming. We thought yeah. there would be a CR. But, but you've heard from Pentagon officials, you've heard from, from everyone that this is not the way to, to run the budget. This is not the way to run the government here. So how, how, does, how does Congress get back on track? How do we get back to a place where maybe not all seven, but may, maybe something passes before the end of the fiscal year? Or are we just destined to have you know, January 1st be the new start of when the budget gets passed? Uh, listen, a couple things need to happen. First of all is I think that members of Congress need to be held accountable for getting the job done. Get a budget done on time. I, I got a bill and called no budget, no pay. You don't get a budget done by April 15th, which is what the Constitution says. You don't get a paycheck. Now, the Constitution says you can't take away pay, but you can certainly hold it in abeyance until the job's done. The same way with August recess, I beg the speaker, and I do it each year, whoever the speaker is, to say, keep us in town. Keep us in town until all 12 appropriations bills are done. What a great motivating factor. Listen, Mitch McConnell did it. It's been almost nine years ago now, kept the Senate in town. Guess what happened? Mm -hmm. All 12 appropriations bills got passed. So until you create a, a connection with the individuals, I think we're going to continue to be mired in this.